All right, hello, my name is Silver Kyle, and today we're going to be taking a look at The Amazing Spider-Man Volume 5 Omnibus, which just came out this month, and pretty much August to November of 2021, uh, during that four-month span, there's five different Spider-Man Omnibus. Now, four of those are reprints, and this is the only brand new one, but still, that's crazy how much Spider-Man content that we're getting. I, I love that. Uh, he's by far my, well, maybe not by far, but he is my all-time favorite uh, superhero and I'm just so happy that we're getting so much from him. So before we dive into this, I just wanted to kind of show uh, the other versions that I have of uh, uh, prior to, to Volume 5, uh, which would be uh, Amazing Spider-Man Volume 1, Volume 2, uh, Volume 4, and I am missing 3, uh, which is getting a reprint, so I will be getting that. I think that and that comes out in, in November. Uh, so what I want to do as well is just to kind of show you all these omnibus side by side and we get this lovely new <laughs> spine from marvel for all their new i guess silver oh well, it's not really silver age anymore because i mean this is the 70s i believe but still uh for further older omnibus line we're getting this new smaller font uh, along with this, uh, and I do like the picture. I, I, I have always said that I, I like the picture, but the volume five is very small right there. It's kind of has some glare there, but uh, much smaller, and it just doesn't go well. And because that volume three is going to be a reprint, it's essentially going to look like this for me, which just and and then another five will be over here right so it's just it's that's gonna be great so other than that though let's look into some positives about this the only thing negative to me is really the the uh, sp uh spine here so now we can take a closer look at the actual book itself and like i was saying uh really to me the only thing that really bothers me is this spine i mean i do like that but i just don't like that it coincides with all the other older omnibus if you have some of the older omnibus and actually volume two uh, is, a, is, is a reprint from this year. So it's kind of weird that they went halfway through the year, all of a sudden they're just like, okay, let's change this up. I mean, there's always going to be a starting point, but you'd think there were so many reprints, they would start with 2021 and, 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 and not halfway through 2021. Like beginning would have worked a little bit better. But anyway, I could talk about the spines forever. And I have numerous times. So that's enough about that. The cover here is the, the variant that you would get if you're not ordering from like a local comic book store or a few places in the States that actually allow you to get the, the real cover uh, from the old comic books, um, which I would always prefer, but uh, it's way too expensive for me to do that because I'm here in Canada. So I ordered this from Amazon. I wish we had a place in Canada that gave us some discounts like Amazon and Indigo do here in Canada that you could get that variant that is the actual art from the comics themselves because sometimes they're nice uh this one i don't really care for this is just okay to me uh, it's very i don't know the colors are nice but um the actual art isn't really doing anything for me at all i really like the blue though i will have to say that and and, and the colors are popping like his spider-man suit the green goblin beautiful color but uh not the actual art doesn't really do anything for me um However, this kind of stuff, like this to me is where Spider-Man, at this point in time, this is the best Spider-Man has looked so far in all the five volumes. Really, really like the art here. And that's why I would have loved to have uh, a cover that, that represents that. Now, I will say they also got the Fantastic Four reprint of is it volume three, I believe. Yeah. And that's, uh, once again, a redrawn art. That's not the actual stuff, but it is beautiful. And I'll, I will be doing a, an overview of that tomorrow. And it's gorgeous. Anyway, this includes um, Amazing Spider-Man 143 to 180 in annuals 10 and 11 and Nova 12. It does retail for 125 in the US and 157 in Canada. It is kind of a thinner uh, omnibus. It's, it's only 880 pages. So I, I wish that they would have gone at least to 1,000 with this one. Um, which is kind of unfortunate, but I, I just love that we're continuing on. We have a volume five, you know, we have five volumes of Spider-Man. We are getting closer to the Roger Stern omnibus. Panels there. So original clone saga change, uh, Peter Car Parker's love life forever and the creators. Take this out because we do have the very nice... Uh, if they're just going to go with plain, I do like the Spider-Man logo in blue there. And see here, I'm totally fine with that. You know, have that in the in, in, for the actual hardcover. I'm cool with that. And the Spider-Man uh, face logo. 
in the back. Oh yeah, no, I'm, I'm about to stretch it out there. I've already done that. Um, man, doesn't that kind of look like the 1994 uh, cartoon series, which is my my absolute favorite? Like that's this is really nice artwork. So the original Clone Saga, not the one from the 90s. The creators. Contents, table of contents. We got the years. We got the, what page it's on. Uh, we got everything here. I love, love this kind of stuff. So we're going from 1975 to 1978 by the looks of things. We have a forward here by Jerry Conway. Always nice. And we dive right into it. We get the actual covers uh, and it looks as much like a comic book as it possibly can. That's obviously my favorite page count. Everything here. This is how you do a proper omnibus other than the spine. Like the material that they covered and the way that it looks really nice. Also, I will say that a lot of times lately, for whatever reason, some omnibus from Marvel has had glossy pages and then not so glossy pages in the same book. And it's really weird that they've been doing that. Uh, well, while I was stretching it out, that was not the case for this one. So that made me very happy. And as you can see, like I, I stretched it out properly uh, and it, it, you know, it lays flat, uh, really nice. It, it, there is a bit of gutter loss. Like it, it does, pop, it, it does pop out. I would want it popping out a little bit more, but I'm, I'm, it's not too bad. And the thing is that because that it, it's the nine, 70s here, we do have this uh, white border. Uh, which prevents at real gutter loss. Like you can still see everything. You can still see the bubbles. You can still see all the artwork. You know, without even having, like, I don't know if I put, pressed it down, I could see even more, but I don't have to do that for this. Scorpion looks great. I always liked the look of the scorpion. Tarantula, too. I remember seeing him from a, a card like back in the 90s, a, a trading card deck. Uh, that's how I was introduced to Tarantula, and I thought he looked really cool. So you can kind of see that it's, it's popping out a little bit more here. Here it's much flatter. And as we get closer to the middle of the book, that'll slowly go away, which is nice. As it starts, there we go. As it starts to lay more flat. Doc Ock. That's close to the middle there. Spider-Man just looks great here. Like, I just love, love the look of Spider-Man. I wish that they drew Spider-Man like this again. And I'm from the 90s, so I would, I, you know, I, I prefer the 90s, but this is up there. In terms of art, in my opinion. Oh, man, once again, that, that, to me, this is, this is the uh, 1994 cartoon. And I love that cartoon. I just, yeah, maybe that's why I like this so much. Reminds me of that. When I'm reading Spider-Man as well, like when I'm reading the bubbles from Spider-Man, I hear the voice from that 1994 cartoon of Spider-Man, who is ironically, or not ironically, but just weirdly, uh, he's, I um, can't remember what his name is, er Eric, I think, from uh, The Little Mermaid. He's, you know, the main male um, main character in The, the Little Mermaid. So if there's, Ariel, and I think it's Eric. I could be wrong on that. But either way, that's just really funny that Spider-Man is also Eric from Little Mermaid. And I don't think there's too many. Oh, there's a few extras. That's really cool. Quite a few Marvel Tales covers. That's a really nice one. Whoa. I like that a lot. I'm sometimes a really big fan of the massive eyes that Spider-Man gets on his costume. And there we go. So I'll just quickly show you uh, the binding there. So it does... It pops out quite a bit. 
but it, uh, I think just reading it once over would help. So it does pop out. You would want it to be... Actually, it's, it's pretty good when you look at it like that. I want to go a little bit closer to the... That's about the middle-ish. So, pretty good eye, if you ask me. So there you have it. That is the Amazing Spider-Man Volume 5 Omnibus. Quite excited to get into this, uh, but I'm still reading uh, Volume 2 right now. And I still need to read then Volume 3, which comes out in November. Then I'll go to Volume 4, which I already have. And then finally I can read uh, Number 5. But I, I'm hoping... Uh, that by early 2022, I'll have all of that done and read. So thank you all for watching. You have been bearded in. Beardage!